Have you ever been woken by heartache? Night after night, I would wake to the sound of crying, starvation. We just got back from another trip to Guatemala. And even though I was back at my job as an emergency room nurse, my heart was broken. My spirit was unsettled over the injustice I just witnessed. For me, it wasn't this sudden earth shattering moment where I was called, but months of praying. Praying for someone to rise up and stand with our friends in El Rosario and then suddenly realizing that that someone is us. So we went. Three years ago, we stepped onto a plane and left our whole world, family, friends, careers, and steady paychecks to move to rural Guatemala. We've endured parasites, a bat bite, scabies, and hospitalization for salmonella. We've known isolation and have been sucker punched by grief and loss. But there are these moments God gives us that we know we left it all for a reason. Like that early morning with Tabito. I'd never seen starvation like this. I'd never held it. His protruding ribs were undeniable. After a feeding, I held him and swayed in a hammock. He smiled. It was proof he was a life fighting to live, a life that could know joy. By God alone, today we're looking at a health center dedicated to the revival of starving infants. We're seeing the faces of 65 babies once on the edge of death now thriving, celebrating that every single baby that has entered the program has graduated. This organization will sustain no matter our presence or absence because we believe in community empowerment. We're not the heroes. It's by the work of our local pediatrician physical therapist, and three incredible women. And it's by your partnership, by your generosity and faithfulness that a profound and lasting impact in rural Guatemala is made. Tabito, that little baby I rocked in the hammock as a starving infant, he's fat now. I'm talking the doctor actually had his mom cut out some feedings, like went on a diet fat. It's easy to hear these stories and only see Guatemala for its poverty or starving babies. But when I think of Guatemala, I see beauty, stamina, a rhythm of resisting darkness with a spirit of goodness that is woven into the souls of the people. We pray that everyone who walks into the clinic sees a place that reflects the same. We pray for his kingdom to come to El Rosario. We believe in a day where no baby starves and we're just getting started.